Hi, I'm Jonathan Jay, and welcome to this video all about buying a business without using your own cash. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, tap the subscribe button, tap the notifications bell, and you will receive a notification every time I release a new video on buying a business. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you several ways of buying a business without risking your own cash. So there's nothing to stop you. Let's buy a business. Anyone can buy a business. All you have to have is enough money or be able to borrow money from a bank and then you can write a check and you can buy a company. But let's face it, not many people are in that position. Not many people have those liquid funds and not many people have the credit to borrow money from a bank. So how do you do it? Really, there's nothing to stop you apart from your own willingness to put in the effort required to find the right business to buy and structure the deal. And of course, you've got to know what you are doing. And this is the methodology that I use for just about all of my business acquisitions. In the last few months, I've bought 23 businesses all around the UK without using my own cash. So let me give you one of my favorite ways to buy a business without using any cash. You actually use the cash of the business that you're buying. Now, this means that on occasion, it is possible for the seller of the business to pay you on completion rather than you to pay them. And the question I want to ask you is this, if you could do that, how many businesses would you buy? I guess the answer would be all of the businesses that make sense when they fit into your group or your portfolio. So how do we do this? How does this situation arise? Well, it happens when businesses take deposits and prepayments for work that hasn't yet been completed or hasn't even yet started. And that money's sitting in the bank to do that work in the future. Now, at the moment that you buy the business, you become responsible for that future work, but also that money that has been collected to pay for it uh, is yours as well which means that there's going to be a sum of money due to you on completion. And what quite often can happen is that that sum of money is greater than what you would pay them on completion, which means that they owe you, you don't owe them. Now there is a downside, and I like to show the pros and the cons of every situation, but there is a downside here, which is that you have actually got less cash to work with to provide that service in the future. So you will have to reduce your costs very, very quickly in order to tighten your belt to give you the available cash to deliver the service. But if you want to buy the business without using your own money, that's the price you have to pay. So I always look for businesses which can fund their own acquisition, which means that I don't have to put my money in, which means that there is nothing to stop me from buying and buying and buying some more. So one of my favorite ways to buy a business without using my own cash is to actually use the cash of the company that I'm buying. Now, let me put this in a different way. We call it deferred consideration of vendor financing which means that we pay the amount that we've agreed to purchase the business for over a period of time. And that period of time would be at least 12 months, most probably two to three years, and sometimes more than five years. Now, what this means is, is that the seller of the business gets the amount that they want for the business. We get the business that we want to buy, but we pay for it over a period of time. And of course, that money doesn't come out of our own pocket, that money comes out of the business that we're buying. So it comes out of the profits of the business. Now, this is a really, really smart way to buy a company because it means you don't need any cash up front. But you might be thinking, why would the owner of a business do something like that? Why would they sell to someone who isn't gonna give them all the money on day one? Well, there are a couple of reasons. First, they may well have had that business on the market for a, a number of years and so far they've never found that person who'll give them all the money on day one. So in the absence of that type of deal, your deal where you pay for it over a period of time is actually a pretty good deal. And number two, and this is the point that many people miss, is that money isn't always the motivation for selling a business. 
It can be age and retirement. It can be ill health. It can be spending time with the family. It can be stress. It can be just having enough. The owner has just had enough and they want out. And when you come along and you put together a deal that allows them to exit in a matter of weeks, so speed is very important here, and then they get their money over a period of years. The strange thing is many, many sellers like that. They say things like, well, if I had the money all in one go, I'd probably spend it all. So they like the idea of this income over a number of years, but they can hand you the keys and walk away from the business. And of course, everyone gets a great deal. So let me now explain to you a really smart way to buy a business where the company owns a property. And this can be all different types of businesses, not just the obvious businesses that own properties like uh, restaurants and shops, but all different types of businesses can actually own a property. Now, when you spot a business that owns a property that you don't necessarily want, maybe you're not really a property investor, maybe that's just not your thing, you want the business, but the business owns a property. So what you do is you team up with a property investor and the property investor buys the property and you buy the business. Now, what we need to consider here is that if we're going to be paying something to the seller of the business on day one, that money will actually come from your property developer friend because he's going to be paying for the property on day one. And then what we're going to do with the business is we're going to defer those payments over a period of time so we can pay for the business out of the cash flow of the business, which means that from your perspective, there's zero money in. Now, what I've just described there makes it sound really, really simple. Well, sometimes it can be very complicated and you need professional advice and guidance to make this happen because you might have to do a demerger of the property out of the company and you need an accountant and you need a lawyer to do that. However, the principle is very, very sound and I have clients who've done exactly this. They've bought, in one case, a three million revenue business making 400,000 pounds a year profit for none of their own money because the property in the business was bought by the property developer. Of course, one way of buying a business without using any of your own cash is to not pay anything for the business at all. Now, why on earth would someone effectively give you their business for nothing? Well, this typically happens when the business has liabilities and by passing you legal ownership of the business for nothing or for a pound, that means that all those liabilities legally pass to you. So you've got to have broad shoulders when it comes to buying a business in this type of distress because you've got to know two things. And you should never buy a business in this situation unless you know the answer to these two questions. The first is, why has the business got problems? And secondly, how do you solve them? So if you know why the business has problems and then how to solve them, it might actually be an interesting strategy to buy a distressed business for nothing and then turn that business around. But a word of warning, it's not for the faint hearted. It requires an awful lot of work and it may not work. Now, I've done this and been very successful at doing this, but I can tell you it takes an awful lot of effort. So those are my top ways to buy a business without using any of your own cash. And as you can see, you don't have to be a multimillionaire. You don't have to be able to borrow millions from the bank in order to buy a company. Every deal that I do has an element of one of these methods in it. And everyone that I train on how to buy a business uses these methods as well. 